Hey everybody, welcome to Food in Common in lockdown again. Um, tonight, because I haven't prepared a proper recipe, I thought I'd just take you through what I'm going to be cooking for di for dinner this evening. Um, so you get you're getting the authentic post work Georgia stress brain. Um, but hopefully this will give you some inspiration of something you could make at home. Um, I did duck out to the shops to get a couple of things, but uh, as usual, trying to keep my shopping pretty frugal. Um, so I'm using a lot of stuff that I already had. So um, I've got some pasta here that I'm going to cook up. This is, um, oh, it's just orecchetti, is those little, um, I think they're little ears, um, is what it translates to in Italian, but I could be wrong. Um, so that's sort of just like little shell pasta. You can use spaghetti, you can use penne, any kind, it really doesn't matter. Um, I had some um, I had some bacon in the fridge uh, because all I do is eat French toast with bacon. Uh, so I'm gonna use a couple of slices of that. Um, I also had some parmesan in the fridge, so that's gonna go in. Um, what I picked up was some Brussels sprouts because it makes me so excited that they're, they're back around again, but really you can use any green for this recipe. Um, my dog may bark, just I'm giving her the greasy so she doesn't. Um, so yeah, I'm using Brussels sprouts in this instance. You could use broccoli, you could use cauliflower for this. Um, you could use uh, some cabbage if you have any of that, some green like savoy cabbage would be yum. Um, yeah, any, anything like that would work well. Um, I also picked up a couple of sad looking mushrooms. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the supermarket near me gets completely sold out during COVID and has the most rubbish uh, food left. So this was sort of all I could really pick up. Um, and then the last ingredient I'm gonna be using is um, some toasted almonds. So. What I'm going to do is fry up the bacon and the Brussels sprouts and the mushrooms together, get them all juicing together and a little bit, um, a little bit golden. I'm going to put my pasta on at the same time. Uh, then I'm going to toss it all through, um, give it a good crack of pepper, put a little bit of olive oil, maybe some lemon juice or lime juice just to coat it all, and then the palm over the top. But I'll get cutting now. Uh, and I will show you what we're doing um, as I go as well. So I'm going to start off by cutting my Brussels sprouts. So I'm just taking that little end off, but you can use the rest of it. So I'm going to cut it in half and then just so it melds well with the pasta shape I've got in little quarters. And then some of those leaves will fall off from the outside, but that's fine. Um, it's sort of nice to have a bit of a mix of leaf and Brussels sprout chunk if that makes sense. Um, for myself, just for one, I'm probably going to do about five or six Brussels sprouts and that will do me, but you can always make a little bit more and not have to cook lunch the next day, which is always a, a benefit. I think that's six, but I might do seven. I'm a little bit hungry. There we are. And similarly, with the mushrooms, I'm just gonna go in. I like mushrooms kind of in wide chunks. Um, so I'll probably just do a mix of those different sizes there. Um, and as I said, these mushrooms are super fresh or amazing, so I'm not being too careful with them. In other circumstances, I assure you I'll show them some more love. Um, and because mushrooms cook down more than the sprouts will, I'm just gonna do three of those big ones. Two might be enough for you, but I, I'm rather partial to a mushroom. Um, and then, as you can see, this is, you know, very, very quick to make. And then I'm going to just cut up my 
bacon as well. So I sort of want finished strips of my bacon and I'm going to use two rashers, two little rashers. Um, so I'm just going in over the top like this. And even though it's sort of weird to leave one rasher, I'm sure I'll find a use for it in something. Or I'll just give in and have an exceptionally salty and delicious pasta dish. Because bacon cooks down some as well, really. And as you can hear, in the time it took me to do that, my kettle has just boiled. So I'm gonna put the pot on right now and we'll come back. So I've just put my pot on to boil and I've got a smallish um, pan here. I'm just gonna put a wash of butter in, so probably, what's that, 25 grams or so, um, just to get it started. Um, and my pan's on medium heat. And once that's melted down a little bit, I'll throw the bacon right in. So my butter's melting. I'm gonna put my bacon in and fry that off for a few minutes first. And then I'm going to take it out so it doesn't cook too much. Um, I also just wanted to note that you might also consider adding some garlic to this recipe, obviously, that would make it delish, but I don't really use much garlic in my home cooking, um, and I don't have any. And the other thing you might, um, uh, you might use for this recipe, if you have some at home, um, you could throw a little bit of white wine in at a later stage um, or cook down some onions as well. I'm keeping this very, very simple tonight. So my bacon's been frying away there for about five minutes or so. It's starting to get lovely and golden. So I'm just going to grab some tongs and put that to one side because what I really want is to cook those veggies in a combination of butter and bacon fat, which, you know, is as healthy as you make it, really. I mean, if you've got, if you're only using a tiny bit of bacon and the majority of your dish is veggies, I feel like that's a good trade-off making something completely delish. Ooh. And just like everyone, I always let my pasta water bubble over. And so I'm just tossing all of the sprouts and mushroom in that fat, so it covers it nicely. What you want is um, a bit of a gloss over all of the produce, which it doesn't really have now. Uh, so I'm going to add a little bit more butter. You don't have to be as liberal with the fats as I am. You can certainly use olive oil for this as well. Um, <clears throat> And you can certainly cook things with less fat. The other alternative would be, um, like the source of this for me is mainly going to be um, the butter. Um, you can see my dog's interested in sucking it off my fingers. Um, but the other option you could do would be to fry it with just a little bit of olive oil um, and maybe cut the veggies up a bit smaller so they cook easier uh, and then toss uh, yogurt, your like yogurt through the pasta um, with some fresh pepper and um, and a little bit of drizzle of olive oil over the top, and that's like a healthier alternative to this, which is equally as delicious. Um, and yeah, yogurt's particularly good when you want to add some frozen peas in the mix as well. That's a great little combo. All 
everybody. So while everything is cooking away, I'm just going to grab a little handful of my roasted almonds. They don't have to be roasted. Um, it's better if they're not salted. And I'm just going to cut them up into little chunks, like so. If uh, nuts are a little bit hard to handle with your teeth or just not your flavour, the other thing you can do is uh, get some breadcrumbs um, and put a little bit of olive oil in a pan, uh, throw the breadcrumbs in, just toast those. Um, when I do that, I like to add, and now my other dog's coming for a little taste. Um, when I do that, I like to add some parmesan, I like to add some lemon rinds, uh, and you can add some parsley as well. Uh, and that, yeah, it's just like a lovely way to add a little bit more texture to a, a pretty plain dish um, in a way that's not so tricky because I know, at least with, for me, that nuts sometimes get stuck in my braces and I'm not always in the mood for that. Uh, so that's another little trick. So the last thing I'm going to do before I put my pasta in with my veggies is just grab a mug and get some of that lovely pasta water. So, um, I don't know, this is the Italian way to do it. Uh, all the sort of lovely sticky gluten-y stuff that comes off pasta while it's cooking is a great way to make a sort of semi-sauce. Um, and you'll find it comes up much more when you're using quality pasta, I will say. Um, so I'm just going to quickly drain this. Greta, let's stop it. Greta was just eating the nuts. So I've got my pasta here. Just going to throw some in. I'm absolutely rubbish at determining the appropriate pasta quantity. So I always cook a bit more than I need and then I can find another use for it. So that looks like a good mix. Greta, that's enough. Oh, no. Rescuing my nuts over here now. Um, I'm going to throw my delicious bacon back in and I'm just spatula spatulating, if that's the word, all of my delicious fat out. The last thing I'm going to do Grab a cheek of lemon. Give it a bit of a squeeze over the top. I'm going to dress it with a little drizzle of nice olive oil. I'm going to turn it off and give it a little toss for one last time. Oh. Got my palmas in here and I'm just going to grate a little bit over the top. Just a quick note, I didn't salt anything but the pasta water because of the parmesan and the bacon, so just um, try to ignore your instinct to salt until you've at least tasted this one because it can become over, overload pretty quickly. And now with what almonds my dog has decided I'm allowed to eat. Sorry about the food hygiene for those that that worries. I'm just going to sprinkle those over the top and then this here is our delicious I don't know that probably didn't take much longer than half an hour Brussels sprout mushroom bacon almond and lemon pasta